The Arduino, Pin Mode, and Digital Write commands are easy to read and beginner friendly. However, they have a drawback. You need a separate line of code for each individual pin you want to control. This can make your program get very long if you're building a circuit with lots of LEDs. This is where registers come in. Registers let you control up to eight LEDs with a single line of code. This can let you make your program much shorter and make it easier to program animations. Each register has eight bits. We start counting the bits at zero and count from right to left. Each bit corresponds to a physical pin on the Arduino. In the case of the DDRD and the port D registers, the bit numbers match up to Arduino pins 0 through 7. The DDRD register replaces the pin mode command. Setting a bit in the DDRD register to 1 sets the corresponding pin as an output. The port D register replaces the digital write command. Setting a bit in the port D register to 0 turns the corresponding pin low, and setting a bit in the port D register to 1 turns the corresponding pin high. You can now use a single line of code in your setup function to set all 8 pins on port D as outputs, and then use one line of code in your loop function to control all 8 LEDs at once. These two programs both do the same thing. They blink all of the LEDs in sequence with a 100 millisecond delay. However, notice how much shorter this program is. Now, you might be wondering, what about Arduino pins 8 through 13? They are controlled with the DDRB and port B registers. However, in this case, it's a little more confusing because the pin numbers on the Arduino do not match up to the bit numbers in the register. For example, Arduino pin 8 corresponds to bit 0 in the registers. So, for example here, I have connected an LED to Arduino pin 8, and I have set bit 0 of both the DDRB and the port B registers to 1 in the setup function. When I run the code, that is just going to set this pin as an output, then set the pin high and leave it on since I am not modifying that bit in the loop function. So, if you want to design a circuit with more than 8 LEDs, you can do it using two lines of code to control all the LEDs. First, use the DDRB and DDRD registers to set all the pins as outputs, then use the port B and port D registers to turn the individual LEDs on and off.